Hi, welcome to today's collective video. I am really excited. I'm trying out a new way of uh, setting up my microphone. So we'll see how this goes. It's going to be a general collective um, reading. I was going to say pick a card, but not today for this one. Um, and then, yeah, welcome. I do tarot and oracle collective general and pick a card readings. I guess the pick a cards are also general. Welcome. Uh, so today the theme, there isn't really, except the whole committing to whatever it is that you feel really low in terms of your self-esteem. Uh, that's been in the works for the collective. There's been a lot of going through other people's opinions and sorting out where they are within how you see yourself and your own capability and kind of matching it with where it is you know that you always want to go like your dreams, your aspirations that are just for you, where are they going to be at? You're working really hard on aligning with whatever it is that this is. I know it sounds so like vague, but to be quite honest, that's how it works. When you are in the vagueness of life and you're just like, I don't know that's when things right that's when things really start to align and that's when things really start to kind of go your way in terms of just you and it's like people around you are like oh my gosh you're so lucky wow and you're like oh thank you but also you're like I you know I'm just kind of like doing what it is that you know the flow says for me to do like going with the flow there's something about where you as a collective member you are living life in your own way right and this is also based off of what it is that you're like this is my purpose this is my mission this is exactly what it is that i was born to do like instead of just a nine to five job you are really going through and creating your own path you are a pioneer with a vision and it's really hard I'm seeing because there's no like GPS like there's no map there's no guide it's you it's all within you like the GPS is within you the map is within you the guide is within you and it's so powerful of what you're doing for the f for the world for the future and I don't know why but I just felt the need to go off we have I trust divine timing <laughs> throat chakra total total not total blockage, but definitely you've gone through understanding how to unblock your throat chakra or you are going through it uh, because, yeah, this reading's totally dealing with authenticity and, yeah, the pioneer, pioneer of you in your life where even I'm getting that it's like, like breaking generational curses like you're the very beginning if you will of this type of if you will acceptance on individuality on authenticity you're someone who accepts others differences what makes them unique uh, what makes them authentic and it's through you accepting your own authenticity and owning it I'm comfortable in my own skin and bones the way that you go about owning and honoring your physical body 
especially, especially your physical body. There's something about how it's really beautiful for others to see how you heal your physical body with mental medicine, emotional medicine, with this type of medicine that's not physical. It is within, going within and like doing shadow work and allowing yourself to guide yourself through the pains that you feel that emerge through the physical and it's like the physical when you you feel that physical pain um there's something about how it's like sending like your emotional self and your mental self is like sending messages and you're like there's something about how it's like you doing different things in the physical realm if you will where it, it allows immense healing for the mental and the emotional and it's definitely the emotional definitely the emotional there was a lot of cards that popped up so and the emotional okay we have i can accomplish incredible things solar plexus chakra we are two souls walking the same path hand in hand heart to heart this is like a romance card hmm. i mean heart to heart i mean heart chakra totally dealing with like emotions for sure that's like the emotional core that's like the mitochondria of the chakras like the powerhouse you know your heart chakra really that's if you my personal recommendation is going through your heart chakra and working um like on the top chakras and then the bottom chakras from there um, but there's something really incredible about really tuning in and balancing your heart chakra and like updating it if you will i just updated my phone so that's also what reminded me of it but there's something about your heart chakra it really is like it's like part of you that can remind you of like love you know of like this source of energy that can heal any and all other energies it is like the root of what creates other energies is love and there's something about also you understanding what that is for you you experiencing for like you <laughs> you experiencing love for yourself from yourself um like addressing some kind of gift right you give yourself the gift of this like it's like love that's in the present form mm, yeah because there's a lot of times we when we think of love we think in the past right or in terms of love we think of it in the future but when you think of it in the present that's when you are getting the most if you will benefit that you can kind of receive from that love when you receive love from the past it's so interesting because it's not going to actually be how would i say like as tangible as love in the present um, and that's the same with the future. There's something really profound about being aware and focusing in the present moment on right now in this very present moment, what's like three things that, I don't know, remind you of love or that when you think of these things, you feel the embodiment of love. Because um, that's really what it is that would be reminding you of love is allowing you i don't know how it works really i haven't i haven't really figured that out but there's something about our thoughts 
somehow tune into the embodiment of emotions and certain thoughts bring up certain emotions almost like it's like a balloon is the emotion and the string that ties the balloon I guess to you is the thoughts and I'm getting that there's certain thoughts that allow you to feel certain ways and your heart chakra right I wonder you know go with me on this but I wonder with our chakras if we have different thoughts our chakras would be kind of turned on if you will um like like a car like an engine any any kind of like vehicle if you will or like turning on the lights something like that where it's like more so it's like thoughts that you haven't thought in a while okay encouraging thoughts optimistic thoughts um on certain subjects on certain areas in your life certain subjects in your life um where it's not working out in your leg why is it not working out and you're really frustrated and you feel like it's obstacles like there's a lot of obstacles in your way i'm getting that your thoughts really have like this huge connection to certain emotions and the certain emotions causes you to act in certain ways which causes certain results that you're like and it's like this one big cycle like first it starts with thoughts then emotions then actions then results and then thoughts and it's like this huge like experiment almost and there's something about the realization that you in the present moment you are the one in control of the experiment because of the thoughts so here's the thing you can allow thoughts to leave and not be attached to them or and or you can allow those thoughts to attach to who you think you are in the moment right and lead you down whatever kind of path the, those thoughts are leading you down in the whole like beautiful catch 22 is we have the in in the moment in the present moment right and that's like what now is and there's so many different nows that's going to happen in the future any any moment of now that you choose to start to change in terms of accepting and denying thoughts certain thoughts okay and it's something about trying to make it like a no big deal kind of if you will have it very simple not complex like you're not going to be doing like it's going to be like a really simple ritual if you will where you notice oh i'm starting to think thoughts that you know i'm i'm feeling really aggravated i'm feeling really frustrated because these these emotions it's natural also for you to feel these emotions and i say that also me being like putting myself in mind as well because i totally identify with emotions and i'm like this is what i'm gonna feel like forever and ever and ever <laughs> and the answer to that kind of thing because i'm gonna answer that's going to be a no that's going to be a, um, I might be telling myself a little lie, feelings will eventually change. And it's totally, totally going to be when you change your thoughts, when you change your perspective. It's so interesting how your perspective of self is also so closely linked to your thoughts, the tone of your thoughts thoughts can have a very optimistic outlook shine and light on the subject and then it can have a very pessimistic outlook and it shines the shadows of the subject um, 
you could also think of it as the optimistic being abundant finding the opportunities and then the pessimism being the lack the scarcity what I guess what has happened that isn't going right that is like a pattern you know something that would be repeated like it's still happening so there's something about this very amazing amazing ability you have and it is within you like I don't know if you know this but like this is you my friend okay you are so powerful you are so powerful and you are so much in control and it, I'm getting that it feels like you're not but you are and I am here to try to convince you okay try to motivate you help you see that there is a really really effortless easy way and it is the way that you interact with your thoughts and the way that you um the way that certain thoughts tie you to perceiving yourself a certain way and it's not like you are like your own way if you will and when you perceive yourself a certain way it's giving you more of a disadvantage when it comes to your authentic self because it's like trying to take a shortcut when the purpose is to kind of go all of the way like the long way because you're going to come across different uh, parts of who you are that you didn't realize that you are this way where it's like when you realize you're like really impressed with yourself you're like I'm really freaking awesome and it's this really like you're impressed with your authentic self and that's something that if you can get to that point you can like it's like the boost of self-esteem where before you would have been like I don't know about this now you're like yes please I need more of this from myself yes 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 because uh, that's really what kind of really the, the really motivator within you is like waiting to see you know it wants to be impressed and you know what it's kind of like now instead of impressing anyone else outside of you you're going to impress yourself you're going to be like wow i didn't know i could do that that is very impressive that is very very impressive okay so we have restriction frustration cage totally feeling like life is like a cage right now like the daily life there's something about making your daily life a little bit more exciting um yeah <laughs> we have abraxas abraxas originally supreme being of Gnosticism later became go be later became go between people and God, creator of eons, rules three six five heavens. There's also a three six five solfeggio frequency hertz, I believe, but also I'm pretty sure correct me if I'm wrong, but there's three six five in a year, right? I don't know like I don't know but I'm pretty sure give yourself a freaking year y'all like yeah this process is not going to be easy either <laughs> it's going to show you the strength within yourself in terms of within the pain you got pain right now especially in terms of you seeing yourself there's a lot of needing to accept yourself and know that it's a beautiful process it's also a really hard 
process. Like it's, you're going to find that you probably wounded yourself with certain beliefs. You know, you're looking at yourself and you're like, I'm not that amazing. I'm not that great. I lack in this. I lack in that. And the challenge, right, that you're given is to actually like love yourself like to a point where you stand up for yourself amongst others who don't like who you are and reminding yourself that anyone who has an opinion about you that opinion is for whoever said that opinion legitly only for them it is only for their lives for them living life because i'm getting that there's going through this like you are such a strong individual you are such a strong foundation for people like not that you're like an actual like foundation but you being yourself you accepting yourself you living life in the most authentic sense and also I'm getting with your opinion something about you staying true to your opinion and not really backing down when others give their opinion but realizing that like the purpose of opinions is just for oneself it's something about there's a lot of weight that would be lifted that will be lifted when you get to that kind of like a click i always think in terms of beliefs you just kind of have to keep trying like clothes for instance or jeans right there's this magical pair of jeans that you'll wear there's a magical belief right and i'm getting uh, obstruction in my throat chakra okay so I know this is good so there is a certain belief a certain wording of a belief certain words right laid out in this sentence and it's going to click and this belief is just for you right and know when it goes into other people and their beliefs it's really hard to agree to disagree and feel like your belief is okay as well there's something about that where it's like this people pleasing of you kind of like put your beliefs down to the side and you're like oh okay like agreeing with this whoever it is there's something about allowing yourself to agree or how would i say disagree to agree agree to disagree something like that where in the end you brush whoever's opinion to the side and you still are concrete on your own opinion you still are like seeing clearly what your own opinion is because there's something about right now I'm getting that's what is really being cleared up for you with your authenticity with living your authentic life is your opinion of life clearing it up with other people's opinions and cutting ties with those so that you do have a lot more peace space and peace yeah space and peace also okay i'm totally space and peace is that like are they spelled i know they're spelled differently but do they use the same letters and it's like and they flip it you know like <laughs> in harry potter with voldemort and tom riddle's name like that but not like <laughs> I mean, maybe Voldemort's not the best, but like that, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, we have Redwood Tree, Abundance, Earth Wisdom, Healing, Protection, Protection from Fire, Element is Spirit, Feminine for Gender, and Planet is Jupiter. 
yeah, there's something about really like cutting ties with outside opinion and reconnecting with opinions that like really fit like a puzzle piece. Mm. We are two souls walking the same path, hand in hand, heart to heart. Like these opinions connect with like your own perception of life and you have your own right yeah and also something about staying true to your opinions um because it's not just facts right it's about opinions too opinions matter just as much if uh, <laughs> opinions matter just as much as facts and really they matter for you okay let me just say that they only matter for you but there is something about that is such a cool way to connect with yourself authentically um is to yeah i'm getting something about being proud of your own opinion like you've gone through a lot of damaging recoil of other people's opinions like they can be weapons absolutely words can be weapons and they do hurt you can't see it but like dripping with blood okay not really but like words do hurt and when people give their opinion oh my goodness can we talk about it some sometime let's talk about it sometime because yeah you know where where it's like that one saying words can never hurt me like sticks and stones can break my bones but words can never hurt me something like saying like that kind of phrase a reminder knowing that whatever someone else says that's directed to you like literally imagine yourself as a mirror in their words bouncing back to them and they just have it kind of stuck on them you know what i mean because that's really what someone giving someone's opinion is all about is just like it's like a competition of like oh i'm way more knowledgeable of this subject than you are like it and it just is this mind game and it's catch 22 of trying to make you think that this person is more in control of like because it's an opinion, I guess. Like, it, Yeah, it's just so weird. You know, it is interesting how we live in this society where opinions are given so frequently. And it's like they're given as if this person is knowledgeable, like, like they've studied years in this subject and they're not even knowledgeable they've never done certain things and it's kind of like if i guess more than anything reminding yourself if you do take this person's opinion and attach it to your perception of life remember this person might not know what the heck they're talking about they might not be a uh, like a a, a teacher they might be telling you a fib like a lie not the truth like not a fact and if it's an opinion it definitely is not a fact so there's something about taking others opinions with a grain of salt like you know how tiny a grain of salt is very tiny so when it comes to how you perceive life and what this person says about life, like know that that is for them and their perception of life and not for you and your perception of life. Hands down. Hands down, okay? With hands stretched towards the calendar hanging itself. <laughs> like when I be hands down, hands stretched towards the calendar. I did mention 365, the days of the year, okay? I don't know if you want to make a game of this, y'all. 
But like, hear me out when I tell you this. A year in terms of a human life, okay, it isn't that long, right? In the grand scheme of things. You can change, though, your entire life in a year, okay? You can literally become, there's been multiple, million, I mean, not millions, there's been a lot of people who have changed their own lives in a year, okay? Now this, what I'm pushing in terms of changing, is changing your perception of opinions I guess more than anything changing the way that you manage and handle opinions what do you want tied to the way that you live life all right there so thoughts are opinions okay there's something about how your thoughts in terms of opinions in your life, okay? There's something about how, in my mind, it's like making something from just a thought into a physical thing, a manifestation. There's something about how in this video, what we're talking about is manifesting opinions into reality imagining that imagine that right something about you're given the opportunity anytime that you're given an opinion whether it's your own or another to do something with it whether you want to keep it and tie it to yourself and your own opinion of life or and this is a really cool thing and this is a path also that you can do something with it. You can transmute it. I don't know if you know this, but you can be an alchemist any, any day of any day, any minute, any second, <laughs> any present moment. It is when you choose to do something different with the embodiment of the opinion. So let's say you're given someone's opinion about you and you really don't feel good about yourself, whatever the opinion is. And you start to notice that you are thinking and identifying with a scarcity mindset and perception of self. So this is where the alchemizing comes into hand. This is where the wisdom comes into hand because with alchemy, you need wisdom. Like it is from like alchemy is like wisdom experience intuition a very solid connection to where you are very clear on what you want what you desire what you know you need what you also are capable of like embodying within you okay like there's so much to this but know that with time with practice it becomes like riding a bike it becomes like ice skating like rollerblading you will fall down you will go through these different experiences with other opinions and you will be tied to them sometimes um the the key thing though is to recognize and be aware of what opinions what beliefs are not yours and alchemizing it okay so you want to alchemize right you're like okay i have this opinion this thought like this belief that I'm like dumb you're not dumb okay but it's like obviously making you feel dumb right so what you need to do now is in your mind in your like third eye visualize cutting cords visualize releasing visualize like literally strings and your li like your fingers are the scissors okay they're the knife whatever <clears throat> see see what i just did like you're just cutting it okay 
and you visualize the thought of you are dumb in this bubble because it's just a thought okay that's it it's not who you are no way <laughs> no you are magic baby you are literally like you are literally magic okay you are incredible right so this thought of you are dumb is put in a bubble of divine love right put it in a bubble i i recommend of divine love of love that can grow like the energy into how would i say this like it's for the betterment of all in the future is what i do i when i release energy from me or embodiment thoughts ideas whatever when i release what i don't what i no longer need to hold on to or attach to i really try very hard to release it into the future right for the future how to put this my words are scrambled hold on i'm releasing this for the like a stronger foundation of growth for the future so that what we struggle with now as society in the future it will be less prominent and maybe even we figured out how to resolve different societal issues societal messes that you know in the past we contributed to and it just is patterns that when one of us cuts away and then some of us cuts away most of us cuts away all of us cuts away we move forward as society um, from individual like growth from individual choosing to change that's why you're so incredible because if you choose to change for the betterment of the future for all and this is you changing for yourself so you be so you're more comfortable in the future because that's what we need is as individuals doing what we need to do within ourselves letting go of what we need to let go of so that we are more comfortable within ourselves within living individual authentic lives and having less of the need to be like everyone else to feel included because um, really what you're doing when you release a lot of outside opinion is you're having a lot more inclusivity for yourself within yourself within the way you interact with yourself within the way you connect with yourself these beliefs these opinions that you identify with they are some are going to match right some are you're going to be like yes that still matches fits with me others you're going to realize that you outgrew like clothes when you you know grow into an adult you know we are like plants and we're growing and we're learning and experiencing but i am getting that it's kind of like there are some areas where you're like denying yourself kind of the authentic experience because there are certain opinions that you're like oh, I have to believe this because I was told to believe it by others who I look up to totally fair totally fair you're not alone you are not alone but know that if you do change choose to change your opinion belief perception of the way that life is the way that you want life to be the way that you need life to be right anytime that you choose to change the future will be different just in a little bit of a different way right and know that if you choose to change so that you're more comfortable Thank you because the future will be comfortable also for another the more that you choose to be authentic the more others will see and know it's okay because we do live in a world where sometimes others cannot be authentic still because it is dangerous and when it comes to that i don't have a lot of experience with that 
Like, I don't live in an area in the world where it is like that, but it is still like that, okay? So I do want to be mindful of that, okay? And know that when I'm kind of recommending this, it is when you are safe, when you know that you are at a place where it's not just you're trying to survive, but you're you're like okay to thrive okay so i do want to be mindful of that i know i went through the entire video but yes the world is um like it's useful to know self-defense too and you could think of this also as if you will self-defense for yourself uh to like really be aware of the opinions that you're telling yourself like is it really your opinion or is it based off of conditioning from the past when it was in a time where you were not as where you're not like there's not a lot of opportunity for you to express your authenticity in a safe manner right now it looks like a lot with the collective it is um but those who are aware, right, where you need to be a little bit more cautious. This is in the future when you get to a place where you can express yourself authentically in a safe manner, especially with those around, right? It's waiting for you, okay? I believe in you, your authenticity, the power within your authenticity all right you are so strong and know that whoever it is that's trying to bring you down trying to drown out your light with their emotional whatever okay no that's for them only and the power of cutting away whatever is not for you is it is your opportunity to take any moment of any day you are strong your authenticity is needed okay like you are like literally a shining light for others in their own storms okay i have one more card to read and then i'm gonna go our connection goes beyond this lifetime it's an eternal bond this is another romance card, but we're going to do it in terms of your connection with uh, maybe your opinion. Okay, starting to really love your opinion. Being like, yeah, I love the way I look at life. Maybe in general opinions, because really I do see that, yeah, opinions are very painful um, in terms of the trauma that you've gone through. Okay. But know that you are so strong. You've gotten, you've risen from the trauma, okay? And now you're like, okay, now what? Mm, very pessimistic because, ooh, you're like licking your wounds. I can totally see it. So fair. You're like a cranky old wolf licking the wounds. That's me too. And you know what? That's so fair. Give yourself time also, I'm hearing, like I'm getting that's why the year is like so prominent because this will be a minute. Like a year is 365 days, so like every single day, give yourself like five minutes, no big deal. And once you feel more comfortable, give yourself like longer time I'm getting to go through your opinions and to sort out, literally to sort out. And you might kind of realize that you perceive life in a way where you're like, oh, um, that doesn't really match with what I want to be doing in life, you know? Especially when you update your lifestyle, you will definitely update the way that you perceive life because you realize in terms of needing to mature, that's what will help you mature i guess that's what will help you realize life is different than you perceived it kind of like going from childhood to adulthood and you're like oh boy yeah okay i'm gonna go 
Thank you so much for joining me and for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, I'm going to see how this microphone worked. We'll see. Yes. Um, yeah. Your authenticity is so freaking cool. Okay. I can't wait to see more of it. I know I will see more of it. I mean, I already feel your energy. Consensually, of course, you can always take your energy back. Actually, no, better yet. I, here, let me give you your energy. Okay, cutting cords, taking my energy back, cutting cords. All done with meta. The ultimate love. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it in spending your time and energy with me. I mean, come on, that's very very special i feel very special too special nope you never can feel too special <laughs> okay anyway i hope that we will meet again in the future all right it's not goodbye it's only see you later all right see ya